Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. Even though I'm dressed different, I have a shirt on from Dick Dykehouse and one of his hats. But I think I'm going to be making a mess, so I thought I'd put something on that I wouldn't feel really bad if I got paint on me. That's right, paint. We're going to go and check out one of these Hychika Air paint sprayer. Now this is not like a, oh, what were them called? I've got one up there somewhere that I've never used. Oh. A Wagner paint sprayer. The difference between that, a Wagner paint sprayer pumps the paint out. It does not blow it out like this does. And you get a few items in here. You get a funnel. And you get some tips. And you get a cleaning brush. And a very small wire for cleaning out the holes. And we've got four different tips. And the difference in them is the size of the hole that the paint comes out of. Now we're gonna use the smallest one because I'm not a painter. Um, I've never had a spray gun outside of an old Wagner. If you're gonna build a deck or a fence and you wanna paint it, get one of these. They're inexpensive. They seem to work pretty good. I have just been spraying water with it so I can figure out how it works. And because it doesn't give you a lot of direction in the <laughs> directions. <laughs> but um, when you get it, it comes in pieces. You push this release button up here. It really goes in tight. And the spray head comes out. Now, nothing in here needs cleaning unless you really get sloppy. On a Wagner, you have to clean everything. I bought one years ago. We had some kids working at the shop and I had them paint the bottom three or four feet of the walls a darker color and the rest a lighter color. And the gun worked for two days because they didn't clean it good enough. And it just, I threw it in the garbage. These are inexpensive enough where if you build a deck or a or a fence and you want to stain it use one of these and if you don't want to clean it just throw it away it has a pickup tube if you're going to be spraying downward or level leave your pickup tube in this position if you're going to be spraying upwards you want to turn that so it stays in the paint even though it's tipped Something I'm going to do is I am going to take, well, I'd like to take this seal off, but I guess I'll leave it on there because I really don't want to have to clean this thing off. I hate to get it all full of paint, but I can't really show how it works if I don't. Um, I had to go down to Menards and buy, buy me a can of paint to... See how this thing works. That's, I don't know either. I've never used it outside. I, like I said, I got done spraying water with it. Now, he asked me what color I wanted. And I said, oh, heck, give me a can of red. So he mixes me up a can of red. What's that look like to you? I don't know about you, but I'm colorblind, and I know that's not red. But I told him when I bought it, I don't care what color it is. I just need some paint. So here it is. As you can see, I'm sitting on a stainless steel tray because I just know I'm going to make a mess. Painting and staining, well, staining I do, but painting, that's my wife's department. Now, I watched a few videos online, and they're really quite comical. All of them but one told me that this is a funnel 
to help you get paint into your container. Well, I'm not really sure, but I think the funnel would be better if it was actually bigger than the tank. This is for measuring the thickness of your paint. It has a list in here. And this is a latex water-based paint interior. And it says latex, 45 to 100 seconds it's supposed to take for the paint to run out of here. So I'm, we're going to make a mess doing this. Especially trying to get this full of paint without overflowing the can and getting it in there. And try to watch, try to watch my stopwatch at the same time. <coughs> oh, that's what I wanted. Sorry. Stopwatch. Start. We'll just go like that. <coughs> okay, let's dip this thing in here. Oh, I can't even get it in the can. I guess you get this completely full. And we'll wait till that gets to 30. Well, reset. There we go. I don't know what you do if it's too thick, I mean too thin, you, you put a little flour in there and thicken it up. I don't, <laughs> like I said, I've never done this before. We're about half empty and we got 20 seconds. So we should get it out of there by 45 at least. This is as bad as watching paint dry. We're coming up on 40. Fifty. Oh, it's going to be out before 100. I'm pretty sure of that. Let me get a tray over here. Now I got a barrel set up out back, old 55 gallon barrel. We're gonna go paint that. Oh, we're gonna, <laughs> this is gonna really be bad. <laughs> I love that red color, what do you think? Let me know what you think about that red. All right, this, this is, like I said, I've been spraying water. I don't want a bunch of water in there to mess me up. Okay, here we go. Oh, that didn't look good. It's got some lumps in there. I do not have a paper filter. So this could really be interesting. Now, the sprayer comes with a pretty long wire. I measured it, it's 80 inches long. And for you metric guys, that's 80 inches long. This snaps on here. Okay, some instructions. What I gather out of the instruction booklet here, uh, they call this, let me get the names right. 
They call this a spray head wrench. I don't know if I can turn it downward. It's just a, a tab sticking out that helps you turn this spray head. Now this, this part of it you use on all of the nozzles. And the white part is the nozzle. And then you have a red, a black, and a blue. We're going to use the small one so I don't make quite, <laughs> quite a big a mess as I'm going to with one of them big ones. Now they have an adjustment here on the side that shows a small rectangular box up to a very big one. When this is down, it more or less sprays a pinpoint on whatever you're trying to paint. Uh, it, one guy was writing his name with it. I'm not really, no, I don't know. If you put it all the way up, it makes a wider pattern coming out of here. If you have this turned sideways, let me check. I'm sure that's right. Yes, if you have this turned sideways, your spray pattern is going to be up and down. And if you put this down, it's going to be side to side. It's maybe if you're painting up and down. I don't know. If you're painting spindles on a deck, you're going to want to be painting up and down with this thing. Right now, we're going to turn this sideways and we're going to paint from side to side. The knob here on the side controls how far it will let you pull this trigger back. And that controls how much paint is going to come out. We got that screwed all the way on a low. So let's, let's <laughs> go for broke here. I'm going to try not to tip this much and I'll have less cleaning to do. So let's set this down. We'll bring the camera out back. I've got uh, a barrel set up out behind the building to uh, spray paint along with a semi-large piece of cardboard. So hang on, we'll give it a shot. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm gonna keep the camera back a ways because I don't wanna paint my camera. <laughs> Now this is a little noisy, uh, so you're not going to be able to hear me talk. Not bad. No runs. Can't complain about that. Let me paint this piece of cardboard and we'll see what that looks like. get a little more paint coming out. Not a bad finish. It's a little a little bumpy here and there but I think if you put a second coat on it would help take care of that kind of messed this up but I'll put another coat on here and see if I can get it to run all over we'll get a little more paint coming out
think I sucked up one of them clogs because it's not coming out anymore. I'm gonna set this down. Now I did notice most all of Hychika's products are made so they'll stand up on their own. I looked at online at a few of these paint sprayers and you can tell on how they're made. They're not gonna stand up like this. You're gonna either have to lay it down. Skeeto. Oh, they're terrible here. I haven't sprayed yet. But let's take a closer look at this barrel. I can't see what you're seeing, but it doesn't look bad. Like I said, if you're gonna do a deck or a fence, you're not gonna be quite as critical on the finish as you would if you're gonna spray it inside your house on your walls. For $39.95 or $39.99, I can't remember which, right now on Amazon, uh, that's not a bad deal. Now on longevity, how long this thing is gonna hold up, I don't know. I can't tell you on any of the products that I do reviews on because shortly after review, I give it away. Oh, again, how do you like that red paint? <laughs> what can you say? Well, that didn't work too bad for the amount of money you pay for it. I know them Wagners are way over a hundred bucks. And I never thought it did m much of a better job than what this is. Now, let's see what we got to do to clean this thing. You know what? I'm going to put this back on here. I don't want to get paint on this seal unless I've already done it. We're going to see how long it takes to clean this thing out. Okay, we're back. And just, just under 15 minutes to clean it up. Which isn't too bad considering how much time you're going to save on a big project. I don't know how many people are going to paint a 55 gallon barrel, but hey, even at that rate, how long is it gonna take you to clean up a brush, a roller, and a rolling pan? Now, what's this stuff look like, you say? Got all the paint out of here. I got a little stain on the side. It seems to be rubbing off. That might be just dirt <laughs> from having it outside. Uh, all the paint is out of the head. The gun body. And we're going to stick in the, I don't know what all these parts are called. Four, what's four? Spray jet width adjustment. Oh yes, that's if you have it all the way down. If you have it all the way down here, you're gonna be painting your name. If you turn it all the way up, you get a nice pattern coming out of this thing. It does, it does work pretty good. We're gonna put the white, and it's it's clean. The white nozzle back in here. It's got a it's got a tab sticking down on it. Now you can see it sticking up there. That goes in this slot on the side. And then you got this ring that screws on. Oh gosh, you're gonna want to know what that is, aren't you? It's a union nut. And then we get the suction tube. We'll put the seal back on it. Goes this way. 
Sorry. I did get a little bit of paint on there, but hey, what do you expect? You can buy new seals. And you just kind of poke it down in there. Now, I did notice, <clears throat> I don't know if you'll be able to see it, they have some X's cut through this seal. It's not really a hole, it's just an X cut, and you can poke your finger through it. One problem we had with that Wagner paint sprayer was when the kid was spraying the paint, the jug was collapsing because it couldn't get any air into it. Like they have them slots cut in that seal. I would imagine that's to let air in so it can suck the paint out. <clears throat> the only thing I could see to do with that one we had at work is right back here on the back side because most of the time we were spraying down. I drilled a 1 32nd hole through this cover and that solved the problem. It didn't have any more issues. Got all the paint off of this and it's ready to go back in the box. Of uh, what my opinion is of it, it seems to work pretty nice. I I don't have any complaints. I have to pack this all back up. I gotta wrap the cord up and somewhere around here I gotta tie for it. Get to oops. Get the nozzle and the cleaning tools back in here. A little needle for cleaning out. I don't know what that's for. I didn't use it. I didn't use a roll brush either. But that's it. I have to find a little tie so I can tie the wire up the way it was. But for the money, uh, I can't complain. Uh, I would think it would be good enough for painting some things. Like I said, I don't think I'd paint a car with it. Or I don't know if I would paint furniture with it. Um, spraying. There was one guy on YouTube that sprayed shellac. And he got a nice, he had a light shining on it as he was spraying. And he got a nice, smooth, shiny finish on it. It, it looked good. So, what can I say? If you have any questions or comments, I suppose send me an email. Um, I'm getting so many right now, I'm, I'm not answering a lot of them. Um, sorry, I just can't keep up with 50 plus a day. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon. So long.